here we're going to find f of 6. So we're going to go ahead and plug a 6 everywhere where there's an x in the rules so that we can see which one of those rules is true. I provided you with a number line to help you visualize it. Let's go ahead and read these inequalities to see which one is true. The first one says that 6 is less than negative 1. That's not true because 6 is way over here to the right. Negative 1 is to the left. So 6 is not smaller than negative 1. Let's move on to the second inequality. It's saying that 6, which is again way over here to the right, it's saying that 6 is between negative 1 and 2. And that's not true either. Let's move on to the last inequality. This one is saying that 6 is greater than 2, and that is true. 6 is bigger than 2. Uh, now, the other part, 6 is equal to 2. That is not true, but remember for inequalities, only one part has to be true to make the statement true. So since the last statement is true, that 6 is greater than 2, we're going to plug it into uh, the last or the third uh, function that because of rule 3 there. So we're going to remove the x here and we're going to go ahead and replace it with a 6. Let's do the subtraction underneath. 6 take away 2 is 4. We still have to find the square root though. So the square root of 4 we know to be 2 so therefore f of 6 equals 2.